that brings you face to face with uh, leaders from the world of digital entertainment and new, uh, new media platforms. I'm joined by uh, Sunil Kamath, uh, the Chief Business Officer mm -hmm. of ShareChat today. Uh, you know, it's one of India's largest regional social media platform. I was reading a recent article uh, by Sunil, uh, really, and uh, uh, it isn't actually that recent, it's some time ago. Yeah. Um, Sunil, your argument in that article was that if Roti Kapra Bakan were the were the basic utilities for the 21st, 20th century, then the 21st century internet has been added to it. However, your argument was that if internet is the fourth basic utility in the 21st century, then why are millions of Indians still deprived of that, of that basic utility? And your argument was that it has something or a lot to do with the lack of the content, uh, relative, the, native, the kind of content that they would want to consume on the internet. Uh, can you just sort of expound on that theory? That sure. Uh, firstly, uh, thanks for having me. I'm very excited. Uh, I think the, the reason why I said that when I said it was fundamentally because of the fact that uh, as a country, right, uh, we have, uh, we are, there are 1.3 billion population. And at one point in time, we had 150, 200 million users on the internet who were largely English first uh, speaking users. And what we were really missing was the huge audience that would come on the internet who speak in their own language. I think one thing uh, we realize is India is a country with 1600 languages and 22 official languages. But our internet consumption was largely in English. And that changed a lot, uh, I would say around seven to eight years back, when uh, most uh, news platforms started creating content and digital content in, uh, in regional languages. Uh, but that was still not good enough because uh, there's a lot more to content than news. And that is where we strongly felt that there's a need for more content creation in regional languages. And one of the reasons uh, why we are today where we are at ShareChat is because we are a platform across 15 Indian languages. We don't serve English as a language on the platform at all, right. which clearly explains what we are doing there. So what's the, what's the, I mean, I'm curious, and this is a curiosity question, what's the kind of consumption that you see from an English audience on the internet and a non, or a vernacular audience? What's the difference that you notice in their, in their consumption patterns and their behaviors in their, in their uh, sure. choice of content? I think, uh, without going into too many details about what content they consume, I think it's very very uh, obvious today that an English consumer is, is converted to the internet very early and uh, most of us today on the internet are actually using uh, apps on the phones for convenience. We use all kinds of uh, wallet apps, we use uh, you know cab booking apps, right. we use um, you know all kinds of internet services. But if you look at a regional audience today, they really uh, want content for entertainment first and they really want to get uh, knowledge and they want to learn about what's happening around them or around the world in their own language and in the format that they understand best. And that's one of the things which we strive for at ShareChat. Right, and so your, your journey, so what's, what's been your biggest biggest learning so far at ShareChat as far as these vernacular uh, consumers are concerned? Uh, I think there are many here. I think every single day that we, that learn, that we learn, right? Okay, so what's the most interesting yeah. learning that you've so had? I think, so uh, I think the most interesting so far has been uh, about the underlying emotion of using a regional social platform. And the reason why ShareChat has grown at that pace that it's grown today is fundamentally because uh, users didn't have a social network that could, they could call their own. Mm -hmm. And that emotion was something that we kind of touched upon. Because the moment you go on an English plus platform, you typically have this fear of being judged by English speaking users. Right. And you're not comfortable as a regional user to be there. And that really helped us. Because everyone today who uses the platform feels that you know there are people who are actually like me who talk my language mm -hmm. and I can relate to them a lot more and that has really helped us to grow and scale the product across 15 languages in India today. Right and which are the languages that are doing the best? Let's, let me put it this way, which is your favorite language as far as uh, if tomorrow you are told to launch a social media platform in one language, yeah. which, which language would you choose based on your learning from Shed Chat? Okay, this is really tough. Uh, it, being an Indian, if you ask me to choose one language, I don't think I'll be able to do justice to that one. I would probably still stick that if I want to run a social network, especially which uh, gets the masses on board, the whole audience on board, I need to be in as many languages as I can. Right. Uh, but if I have to choose what are my strongest languages today in the platform, I would say we are uh, we are equally strong in the South and in the rest of India. Within that, uh, Tamil, Telugu, Hindi are my top three languages when it comes to audiences. In that order or in a different order? I would order? say putting them together. Okay. 
वर्टिकल we began this journey in 2015 when our three co-founders ankush uh, bhanu and parid uh, looked at very early trends on the internet so we are not really trying to stay ahead of the game from anyone else but we are trying to build our own strategy when it comes to building this whole regional social platform uh, having said that yes acquisition of users is definitely one of the cornerstones of measurement of success for any platform and from that perspective we do a bunch of things uh, the, i think the good part about share chat has been so far that a lot of our users have been organically growing on the platform we have a strong word of mouth in tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 markets mm-hmm. and that has really helped us to ensure that we are focused very very much on the product and on building great technology so we have uh, one of the best machine language algorithms today in the country yeah. when it comes to looking at ml across these languages mm-hmm. across more than 25 genres of content mm-hmm. and uh, learning behavior patterns of consumers we really spend a lot of our energies on that Uh, than spending millions of dollars on acquisition of users via marketing channels so machine learning is is a key area that you guys uh, think uh, and would you be li- would you be would you like to share an anecdotal uh, perspective or an a story perhaps that you know that people for, for a lot of us including me uh, machine learning is uh, oh yeah yes yeah, something like that could happen yeah. ai mi yeah, yeah. this so if, if you could just side sort of tell us let's let's say how you uh probably put one such learning to use sure. by using it so so maybe i'll give you a common common man's version of it but i'm i'm also a business head i'm not a technology head for the right. company but i'll tell you what what how it works for me uh, when we look at machine language it's, it's pretty much uh, it, it's a it's a it's a system that's trying to learn your behavior and trying to predict what is that you would really want to do on the platform so very simple things like uh, every single content piece on the platform today is hashtagged with a certain category we are able to look at uh, consumption of that content by an individual user or a bunch of users as an audience and we are able to predict because of you watching certain content of category a what is the propensity of you watching that same content similar content category b or category c and we try and surface that up for you in the feed to ensure so, that you have a continuous experience so the, of the, the great personalization that's right the the, the personalization thing that's so right. that's one area that yeah. that's been used okay uh, i'm going to quickly wrap up because i'm short of time sure. but i just want to uh, get on to your next growth expansion uh, buzz what's the buzz right now at share chat what is the next big thing that you guys are talking about i think for us uh, we are extremely focused on our goal our goal is to become india's largest social network and we really want to go down that path we really want to focus a lot on the product strengths and we feel we have a lot of levers in the product we can pull and we have a lot of scope to spread ourselves further wider in the network we are also very focused now to build a monetization layer in the organization because that's our responsibility as a company towards investors and shareholders and we are now aggressively building monetization opportunities in the platform Okay, so monetization. By when do we see monetization opportunities actually uh, on the platform or actually taking? I would say uh, you would see something coming up at scale early next year. So by early next year, as early as January. Okay, by January twenty twenty, you hope to move into the one. Uh, we'll definitely start doing a few experiments and learning, right. and building some strategic partnerships in that direction. Thank you, thank you so much, Sunil. Thank you for your time, and we'll keep coming back to you with more. Keep watching LiveMensch.com.